Okay, go for it. Oh, uh, Jorge yeah. Castellanos here. So here you go. Ooh. You see this piece here? This is a very special piece of artwork which was commissioned by me by Miss Amy and Mr. John Malik. And it's um, been more than a pleasure or make me so happy to make something like this happen because they just told me a story and I had to make this happen for them. And there's, before I explained to you, when they got here, Mr. John told me about how they were traveling and they spent six weeks at Ishkakao farm down in, in Punta Gorda. And Mr. John, on one of his ways to, to the farm, he saw the Jaguar on the road. And Miss Amy, one of her dreams was to meet a turtle out in the wild. And they've been traveling the world, but it's hard to meet a turtle in the wild. And her dream came true here in Belize, in the Barrier Reef. And not just that of the Barrier Reef, but I have to make sure that everything represented here on one piece of stone. And here is the piece that I did for them. Well, they came to, to, to learn the trade or how to harvest and how to make chocolate from the cacao. So here on the middle is the cacao goddess. You have the cacao goddess here in the middle and you can see the cacao pads all around it. And now here is the jaguar represented on the stone that Mr. John saw while he was going. And if you see the story of the Mayas, when the sun goes down, it turns itself into a jaguar to battle the lords of the underworld. So the jaguar itself also is the moon goddess, which is the moon here down. You see it turns itself into the moon. This is the nose, the mouth, and here <gasps> are the ear piece, which is the ears of the moon, is Mr. John's birthday, which is small in Maya. That's his birthday month, as the sign here, which is identifying him with the animal, which is like his Nawal or his spirit animal, as you call it. And then on top here, this is the turtle represented as Miss Amy. And here she's meeting the turtle out in the wild. And the turtle she's being met is on the barrier reef, which you see the fishes and the coral here. Oh, wow. And I did Miss, Miss Amy's birthday that is touching both fins of the turtle. And I didn't plan this, but this just came out. And then her initials came out between the turtle and her birthday, which is oh. A for Amy. Oh. So yeah. that I didn't plan for that, you know. And then the coral is here. And then Mr. John sent me a story which he wrote about Miss Amy when she met the turtle in the sea. And what I got from the story is that when Miss Amy saw the turtle, she like bucked Mr. John slowly and squeezed his hand a little slowly for him to know that she's enjoying the turtle. And here that little bump and that little squeeze is represented by the, by the fin of the turtle touching the ear of the jaguar. Oh. And then here, if you go behind the coral, there's a map of Belize where everything happened. Oh. And the side of the stone here represents the barrier reef and this represents <laughs> the water of the Caribbean Sea. And on the bottom here is the profile of the Maya, which represents oh, the Maya gosh. people who they came and spent their time to learn the chocolate. And here on the bottom is what is uh, the, the, the sign of the farm, which this means is Ishkakao. So this is the place where they stood for the whole six weeks. And this is not just any piece of artwork because I had to make sure that um, everything that is done here is being preserved. So I, most of the time I give the people the, the, the little wooden stand that I have, but this is so special that if I had put in the stand here, it might break this off. So I have to take care of it. So I made sure that I even went down to the river for a whole day trying to find the exact stand because this is a unique, <gasps> unique carving. You have to have a unique stand for it. So I had to spend the time to go get it and I got this piece of driftwood. That's crazy. And this is the piece of artwork that goes in the, piece of the driftwood there. And then these pieces of obsidian that you see that the cacao goddess has and the profile of the Maya have, those are pieces of obsidian that I found laying right here above in this Mayan area around here. So it's something really special. And the obsidian is worn by the Maya and the god because that's the connection that they have with the cacao. Mm. Yeah, really unique, really nice piece of artwork. Yeah, really. Unique. It's, a, it's a quite beautiful Jorge. Yes, thank you. Yes, quite beautiful. There's a lot of love and, and, and dedication for that piece. A lot, yeah. And I told you guys a story so you can explain to whoever you guys you want or whenever you want. And this will be part of your family for generations to come. Yeah, because it's it's carved just like the Maya did it. It's in stone. So yeah, it's, 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 it's <laughs> carved divine. in stone. Yeah, it's carved in stone. Yeah, oh. it's carved. It's not just etched in stone. Everything is carved. There's nothing right there. Everything is carved. And here also the, 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 the head of the of the Maya had the feather representing the birds mm -hmm. or the Quetzal birds yeah. that was associated with the kings and the queens. You know, In their so, hair. Yeah, yeah. their hair, yeah. So everything is very special there. Yeah. 
Unique, unique. This is one of a kind piece. One of a kind piece. Oh. Yes. One of a kind piece. Thank yeah, thank you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, baby. Oh, wait, I want to, I'm going to hold it. Yes, you can hold it. This is really tight in here. Let me get a picture of it. Yeah. Not a video. Okay, hold on. <laughs>